Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm out in the woods searching for some things. I got this cool, fun little mini game. I'm gonna play with you guys, so I'm just looking for some cool things. Yes, this will be perfect. Perfect. I'm collecting all these things, and I'm gonna play a mini game with my viewers online. Let me see. All right, but don't tell them what's in there, though. Actually, I don't know if you guys saw this. Um, I think I did this off camera, but all those trees I chopped down was so much wood. Look at all this firewood that it processed down into. It's a lot of firewood. That was so much work. I actually found a company who makes a pool heater that burns firewood. Can't afford it right now, but all this wood's not going to burn itself. You know what I mean? Extend the pool season by six months how much wood would it take to run this pool all year straight through winter i mean i can see like fog smoke storm coming off the top of this baby all winter but how do you feed the wood in fast enough you need like an auto conveyor belt that just feeds the wood in i guess at that point you just run whole trees into it i don't know i'm getting off subject you guys gonna help me find some cool stuff yeah all right let's go search i already found something you did yeah Connor, what is that? I don't know. Oh my goodness. How about this? How about flower? We can't show them. We can't show them. Oh. It's got to be a secret. Oh. Okay, guys, so here's the game. I have a 200X digital microscope. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put objects under it and you are going to try and guess what it is. I have a feeling that it's going to be very difficult, but we'll start easy, get harder, and eventually it's going to be impossible. This thing zooms up so far, you get, there's no way to discern what some of these are. But I know you guys can do some of these, so here we go. Look at the detail in this coin. And that's nothing. This thing will zoom in here. It's the same coin, just at a super high zoom ratio. This is going to be fun. Okay, this one is tricky. First up close. Now we've backed out. Anyone know what it is? Anyone? If you guess tree bark, you are correct. It's an ordinary piece of tree bark. On to the next thing. Oh, you guys should definitely get this one. It's green. You got it yet? You are correct if you chose a leaf. It is in fact a leaf. Ooh, this one. This one kind of looks like the first one. Let me zoom out a little more. What is this madness? Okay, if you said a rock, you got it. That is in fact a rock. Oh, gross. What is this? Do you know it yet? You gotta know it now. Okay, if you said dead spider, that is correct! That is definitely a dead spider, ladies and gentlemen. It looks so dead, I can't believe it. This is one you can't hardly see. Zoomed out. The smoothest texture yet. Okay, guys, you ready to know what this is? Did anyone guess it? Did anyone guess? Did anyone guess? If you guessed a banana, you are correct. That is, in fact, a big banana. What is it? looks weird it looks printed oh now you guys definitely got it you got it you definitely have to have it okay that one was probably the easiest I hope that was a $1 bill a United States $1 bill what is this I can't hardly see anything it certainly is green doesn't look like it keep me from the doctor okay if you said an apple that's right it is an apple Really good one. Mm. <laughs> That's so funny. I know what you're thinking. What in the heck? Oh, gross. Yuck, puke, barf. Ugh. Hey, guys. This was a tricky one, but if you said cheese it, that was correct. And you are probably a genius because I would have never guessed that that was a cheese it. And Connor just ate the cheese it. Vicious. Ew, what is he showing me? Ew. I actually eat this? Definitely looks the worst so far. This is a piece of peppered beef jerky. Peppered beef jerky. What is this? What is that, woven? Is it woven? It looks woven. Oh, I know what this is. It's rope. Hey, if you said rope, that is correct. That is a piece of 550 paracord. It's so shiny, it's so greasy, it's so oily. What is it? I can't tell. Is it frozen? Yeah, it definitely looks frozen. 
Okay, so that is a frozen sweet potato french fry. And you could see like the ice crystals all over it. You could hardly see the french fry, but frozen sweet potato french fry. What in the world is this? This looks like it's from outer space or underwater. It's fuzzy. Okay, if you said squirmel, that's correct. So one of the things this microscope does is it can make a small, the tiniest little scratch on your body look like the most disgustingly huge emergency room grade battle wound that you've ever seen. Let me try to find something. This thing detaches and I'm just gonna find like the tiniest little scratch. So here's a scratch, didn't even bleed. It literally just, it just looks like a scratch. Let's see what we get. Let's zoom in further. It looks like a milk river running down my hand. All right, check this out. So you know how your hand sweats? Watch this. Those are the pores in my hand, in your hand, in everyone's hands, that literally just flush liquid out of the top of your skin. Look at that, that is so gross. And amazing. Your hand's hot enough, you can literally just watch it pump out. It looks like a, like it's on a motor or something, like a pond just flowing away. That's really, really weird and sophisticated. Your skin's like so waterproof and yet it's pumping water in and out always. All right guys, so that was the tiniest itsy bitsy teeny little scratch on Dale's leg. This is like the tiniest little cut. That's what that just was. It looks like a lava pit of blood flow, hardened crustacean, and it's just like the tiniest little fleck. Things are super cool. They can show you up close what stuff really looks like. Uh, sometimes it looks gross. Sometimes it's like the most incredible thing you've ever seen. It's like it makes something that you can't even see turn into like an entire world. Like if you were that size, it'd be humongous. It's so cool. Here's my short, super nice, like thin, really tight material. Under the microscope, it literally looks like burlap, like so rough. And it's like the smoothest material ever. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That thing's super cool. I've had it for a long time. I'll put the link in the description. That goes from, uh, I wanna say 50X to 200X, something like that, I don't know. Pretty cool though. So, as you may have guessed, and from my Pool Ninja Warrior course, you know I watch Ninja Warrior. Well, after doing so, I had this grand idea of Team Ninja Warrior, which they already do online on the YouTube channel Ninja Warrior. However, I think my idea is better, and hear me out. What I want to do is two-man teams where you have to work together, and it takes one person to activate certain things so that the other side is passable from the other ninja. So, I came up with this amazing drawing diagram to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about. So as you see, one person will start in this direction. The other person has to go this way. Now, once they get on the ropes, they can't continue on until this person makes his way over here, holds the button down while suspended in between the platforms, and then this will lower this down, making it possible for the other guy to get across. If one person fails, the team fails. What do you guys think? What do, does that sound like a good idea? Would you want to watch that? I know I definitely would want to watch that. We submit this idea to Ninja Warrior to make them happen. I mean, they could probably put it together in like a month to design the course. And if they need help, I have some drawings I can send them. Am I right? These might as well be engineered CAD files right here. I feel like I just, I want more. The season's over. Let's get another season of something else going. And I don't really want to see them race. I mean, it's fun. It's cool to see who is best, you know, between two people. But I want to see like teamwork. Hard teamwork. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.